This has been a long time coming, but the workshop for my business, Dreaming Robots, is finally done. I haven't started moving in, but I thought I'd take this short video before I actually moved in. It turned out wonderful. I'm really happy with how everything turned out, but it took so much longer than anticipated. I thought it would be done the beginning of this year at the latest, and you know, we're in August, so it's at least seven months late. Uh, more than that, if I go by the contractor's initial estimates, but uh, yeah, it took a long time, but like I said, I'm super happy with it, and you know, waiting a little longer to have everything done right, I guess, pays off. I'll be giving you a, a tour today. Um, the electrical here is actually much nicer than how it's done in my house. So he used conduit everywhere. Um, oh, I haven't set up the router stuff yet, but that's where the wireless is going. And then I've got Ethernet wired um, to uh, the upstairs area. So um, it's just really nice how everything is set up here. Um, I love how these windows work. Got lots of power here. There's gonna be tons of workbenches down here. So the idea is with this um, workshop, I'm gonna have uh, at least three or four different workbenches, and I'm gonna just put a project onto a workbench and leave it there. Uh, then there'll be some shelves probably over in this area when I'm really done with a project, I can put it into a, a large box, all of the materials I used, I'm working on that project, and then um, package it up and clear off the workbench. But I can foresee like this cone winder that I'm releasing pretty soon, I've been working on that for two years. So I'd probably have had a workbench just for the cone winder set up for two years. I don't have you know more than three or four things going at a time, so. Um, three or four workbenches should allow me to sort of have dedicated space, and that'll just greatly reduce the amount of lost time and parts that I currently have in my little basement space uh, setting up. It's certainly a luxury, but uh, you know, this community has been growing, and uh, I decided to treat myself to this amazing space. So there's a heater up there that I can use in the cold New England winters, it will uh, heat up the downstairs area quite quickly. Um, all of the insulation down here is uh, through SIPS panels, then the ceiling there is insulated, and separately the upstairs is insulated. So I wanted to insulate um, sort of the ceiling twice, uh, both for sound reasons and to give the added uh, heat and uh, cooling insulation. There is no cooling down here, but I've already tested, um, I have a heat pump upstairs, and I've already tested that, uh, and that easily um, can cool down the downstairs area as well. Um, let's see, there's not nearly as many lights. This is meant just sort of as a storage area, so uh, I've got a few things in here. Um, I can store you know, any overflow parts or things like that for the electric EO wheel. Let's see, we've got some lights here, we'll go upstairs. Like I said, nothing's furnished yet, but uh, really happy with how everything turned out. So up here, we've got a different kind of lighting system. Let me adjust the camera. So that's the upstairs. Um, I'll have my main computer set up over here. Um, got a heat pump here, so this will do the majority of the heating and cooling. It's very energy efficient, uh, very green option compared to other things. And like I said, downstairs I've got a, a more normal propane heater, but I don't think I'll use that very often. And um, it actually turns out more energy efficient because it heats up the area so quickly. So the plan is to not have that area heated very often. Um, just sort of when I'm working down there, which, you know, on the coldest days, I don't mind if it's, you know, 
60 degrees down there or something. 50 degrees is also fine for me doing the kind of work I'm doing down there. So there won't be too many days where I have to turn on the heat, but it will be uh, heated when I need it in the middle of winter. And I'm, you know, working down there for a while. Uh, so yeah, lots of power up here again. And there's also ethernet plugs all wired in down here. So um, when I've got, you know, a CD print or a, like a 3D printer or something that I'm storing up here, um, I can just plug it into the network, which will be pretty nice. And I think that's pretty much it. I can't wait to start moving in. Uh, yeah, I don't really want to get into all of the drama about what went wrong. Um, I will say that a few of my contractors were amazing, They're like super awesome. Um, the landscaper I used um, really went above and beyond to sort of help me out when we got some unexpected rain, which has been rare this winter or this summer. It's been very dry, but we happened to get three inches of rain, which is like probably as much rain as we've gotten in all the other southern months right after planting some seed, and he came and fixed that um, for me. And uh, let's see, the electrician, I really was impressed with his work. He was always on time and, you know, working around other people's schedules. So definitely highlights there. Um, and I don't really have any contractors I really didn't like. I just think that maybe I, I didn't specify, you know, well enough what time frames we had to get things done by. I was just, you know, pretty um, easy going and sort of let them come up with schedules and things just kept slipping and slipping and slipping. And, you know, once that happens, it's, <laughs> it's nearly impossible to get things back on track. Here, I'm changing the color. We can just look around the building a little bit more. For those interested, um, I went with a, you know, pretty nice metal roof. I don't know if you can see that or not here. Um, and it looks really good. My wife is happy with how it looks. It matches our house, which has the same color scheme. Although I did go with the vinyl siding here um, and our house has cedar just because I didn't want to have to maintain um, paint on the out, outside like we do on our house. Uh, but it's really amazing. From a distance, it, it really looks pretty similar. I mean, it does look the same to, to my eyes from a distance. And, you know, my wife is the one who cared more about the exterior. And uh, she's also happy with how it turned out visually. We're going to plant some uh, bushes and stuff on the other side. The back here is just... Uh, wood chips. So I think that pretty much shows you everything. Hopefully you found this interesting and now I just have to move in and start reaping the rewards. It's really going to be a treat to be able to work in something this nice. I've never had um, a space for my workshop that's been this big or this nice. Hopefully it'll result in getting some of the electric eel wheel products done a little faster. Uh, it should improve my efficiency, at least that's the goal. Um, it'll definitely also just make it a nicer place to work. Thanks for watching.